a special atmosphere and a grand occasion. One the players and fans alike have been anticipating in the tension-laden days leading up to this fixture. But now the talking has to stop and the football must take over. Who's going to emerge victorious? It's a hard question to answer. Live on EA TV. the mentality of any footballer and he's denied them from the spot and the penalty converted here well it's all about keeping a cool head and slotted home right into the bottom corner excellent penalty that wasn't easy to do superb execution and there it is perfectly executed In it goes. And he steps up to take his penalty. And he's beaten the keeper. Oh, a superb save. He had to score, and he does. Such high levels of pressure. He must score to keep his side in it. Job done from the spot. Can he keep us cool? And the keeper denies them from the spot. It all falls on his shoulders. If he scores, they win. A mountain of pressure on him, but he withstands the test, and they've gone and won it. Well, cool, composed, and really good technique. A match-winning penalty and probably deserved over the course of the game. Good evening on what is a perfect night for football. The floodlights shining down on the players as we speak. I'm Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, ready to provide all the technical and tactical analysis, is Stuart Robson. And without doubt, a match with the potential to bring genuine excitement. It's Portugal facing Real Madrid. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? Here's how it looks for Portugal. Ruben Neves plays alongside Bruno Fernandes in central midfield. And the focal point in attack today is Cristiano Ronaldo. Oh, timely challenge. It's still alive. And here's the starting 11 for Real Madrid. Carvajal starts with Ferlon Mendy in the fullback positions. Kylian Mbappe plays with Vinicius Jr. in the wide areas. And providing the main goal scoring threat today is Erling Haaland. Well, Rafael Leao is the sort of player who can really prosper if you give him room to manoeuvre. You don't want to do that as a defender. What might he contribute in this game? I would describe him as majestic when he's playing at his best. He glides past defenders, he's got that ability to run with the ball into open space. He can pick out a pass, he can wriggle out of tight situations. He's the most creative player on the field today. Free kick awarded then by the referee. Well, straight into the meat of the penalty area and you need your defender to take charge real chance and it's in 1-0 they've breached the defence well 
well. Just look at his movement. He knows exactly how to find space. And it's also a tidy finish. That's a nice goal. Well, frustration for the manager. Ancelotti needs to get a reaction from his players now. Action underway once more. A wake-up call for the Real players, maybe. Can they find a response now? Mbappe. And can they make one of these passes count? Progress has been made by Luka Modric. Bad challenge, and now it's up to the referee in terms of what to do next. And following the infringement, a caution. Yeah, no surprise there. That was always going to be a booking. at the back post here danger averted so plenty of forward momentum from Real Madrid here but they took care of the situation defensively Bernardo Silva Portugal being afforded too much space here He's very adept at protecting the ball. Crossing into the middle. Decent cross, but nobody in the vicinity. Regained possession. Kylian Mbappe. Rafael Leao. And Carvajal untidy in possession there. Well, very close to half-time now, and it's a narrow lead for the home side. Stuart, how would you assess what you've seen? Well, they've worked hard and... Oh, sorry, Stuart, look at this! Nicely blocked! Over the touchline for what'll be a Real Madrid throw. Well, they're almost inviting them to come at them. And the fourth official confirming that we'll have one additional minute. And so it is, the first half story has been written. Well, a lot to like about Bernardo Silva and his performance so far. What have you made of it? Well, Derek, he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first half. I thought he showed a lot of skill to get out of tight situations and he had a real impact on the plate.